I'm in front of the television. I got it in the kitchen in the morning. And there's Ronald Reagan's blue eyes. And he says, we have absolute proof that the communist Sandinista government of Nicaragua is in the cocaine running business, cocaine trafficking. And there's Barry's plane, the fat lady, bellied in on the runway. <laughs> and I thought, oh, shit, Barry has done it again. I'd heard he had switched over and gone, gone with the police. You'd heard that? I'd heard it. Somebody told me that Barry may be working with him. I don't know who told me, but somewhere, I think. The so guy how did, before we get into that then, because how did you guys just, did communications just fall off? Because he was working for you. Yes. Well, whenever I got arrested, Barry went and got the lawyers. And since he sent a lawyer there from Baton Rouge in, it robbed me. And, <laughs> and then he got uh, Albert Krieger, the best lawyer that I tell you I've ever seen. And, and a whole, he did a whole crew. And he had, I believe, three of my airplanes. And he, he gave Mari the money for him 100%, helped her whatever he could. And, uh, but then he, I wasn't there, and I was just cut out of the deal. Okay. So he just kept on flying. So he, of course, he knew the people by then. By the, it, was, it was too much together. I couldn't keep it apart. Didn't even try to. But uh, so, but now he's he's crashed his plane on the Nicaragua one runway there where we refuel, and the phone rang. And he said, "Roger, I'm uh, I want to. I got to see you. I'll, I'll come out tonight at a French restaurant. And I forgot the name of it. it." Says I'll be there at nine o'clock. All right, Barry. So I went in at nine o'clock in the room, not a very big restaurant, and maybe 10 or 15 tables. All of them looked like 30, 40 years old, leather skirts and sports coats and blue jeans. <laughs> and Barry's leaned upside the wall at the back, and he's gained weight. And I walk up to him and I say, Barry, are you wired? And he said, no, I'm not, Roger. I said, well, you just talk, I'm gonna listen. And he said, all right. So I sat down with him and he went to talk and he said, Roger, I was, uh, I was protected there in, in Mina. You know about that. He said, they all, when the shit hit the fan, they all ran, left me holding the bag. And I was indicted in three, in, in Miami, in, in Florida, Louisiana, and Arkansas, facing three life sentences. And uh, so I've told everything. I've been full Congress. I've testified to everything that was going on but you're under my umbrella. I told them I would not testify unless they protected you. So you're, you, you and I are partners. He said, you've got to come to Miami and testify before a grand jury. Wow. I said, are they all DEA agents? He said, every one of them. I said, well, bring your head honcho over. He put his hands between his eyes, over his eyes, and the tears run down between his hands. He said, I just couldn't do it, Roger. I just couldn't do it. I'm so sorry. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do life in prison. So that's when I told him, bring your fella over. I felt sorry for him. I mean, I really did. So the guy came over, lanky fella, crop duster from Alabama, I believe, Jake Jacobson. He's the one that was in that crashed airplane in Nicaragua. And uh, he told me the same thing. He said, well... You can come tomorrow. Said, well, we, we had some Chevis Regal and got a little pie-eyed, and I liked him. He said we was on different sides. He said, you can come tomorrow to Miami and first class with, with Mari, or I'll take you down in chains. And the only place you're going to ever see your family again as long as you live is in a federal prison visiting room, I promise you. And I said, well, I'll make sure to come first class. <laughs> so... I, I did. I, Mario and I went down to Miami the next day, and I went in to see a lawyer. I went to see Gould is his name. I didn't realize his partner had been blown up and killed because he's representing a snitch. <laughs> so, but he's supposed to have been the best at the time, and I went in to see him. And uh, he just says, you know, he says, I'll represent you for $600,000, but I, I don't talk to snitches. I said, I'm not a snitch. He said, well, that's what you're talking about. I said, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to get what you said. He said, listen, man. Being a snitch is like being pregnant. You either are or you're not. He was nasty. <laughs> he said, once you start talking, if you don't tell them everything, you will receive a life sentence because everything you've ever done, everybody, thing else they said about you will be used against you. He said, you got to go, you got to tell everything from day one to now. And so I left his office and I thought, damn, that guy. 
I went to see another, and he told me the same thing. And I said, listen, man, I, I've got to say something. I've got to. He said, you can't. If you're going to do it, you've got to do it all, or you will be convicted and get life. So I went to the, the, uh, the that afternoon, I went to the courthouse. And I was going to tell him I, and so I spoke to meet him like at 3 o'clock. And I was standing, it was hot, and I was standing behind a pillar, a big big marble pillars at Miami Federal Court. And I was up the stairs and here come the, the three cars. They had about four of them with their machine gun pistols in the front and I think two in the front and two on each side of Barry in the back. They was looking out this way and that way with Barry as they come to the court. <laughs> and Barry's car pulled right up and stopped beside me. <laughs> and I just stepped down that step and hit the top of that car. Wham! <laughs> you should have seen them. <laughs> They tore that car up trying to turn around. <laughs> I said, see how easy it would be. <laughs> they didn't appreciate my humor. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.